what's up YouTube we are on our way to Moab we're about 12 hours into the drive uh, not too far from Kansas City we just stopped for gas H took over I drove 11 and a half hours <laughs> And now H is driving. <laughs> so I finally get a break, which is nice. We're in the RV, obviously. But uh, the wind is really bad. H is starting to scare me. I think I should probably take back over. <laughs> it is crazy windy. But anyway, we... Uh, we're gonna be there for six full days of riding. We may uh, drive straight on through tonight. We hadn't decided if we're gonna do that or not. We're gonna see how it goes, but it's like three o'clock now. We make good time. We started at four in the morning central time. So, or I started, like I said, H back there sleeping the whole time. y'all posted on this it's just me and H this trip none of the other guys wanted to go they're all worthless and scared so we're gonna go to Moab ride some trails come along for the ride H got anything you want to say are you tired you drove 30 minutes do we need to pull over and let me drive again I'm just <laughs> trying to get the fuel average back down again yeah yeah, that is one thing. H drives a little bit faster than I do. I'm just long enjoying the journey. Enjoying the beautiful countryside here of Kansas and all the wheat fields. And, and I'm trying to get his there this week. Yeah, there's a Polaris dealership. Look at all those Polaris on the lots. You didn't see that a couple years ago. But anyway, yeah, I'm along for the journey, man. Slow and steady wins the race. H is over there. He, he figured out that cruise control is restricted at 75. Yeah, you can't you can't go any faster than 75 on cruise you control. You can. You just have to put your foot in it after the cruise control from there. Yeah. It's a beautiful day though. Other than the wind. Yeah, other than the wind. The first four hours were actually the first. Seven hours. Seven right? hours, yeah, all the way to Nashville. Well, actually, Paducah, Kentucky, freight from Atlanta all the way to Paducah, Kentucky. Of course, when I was driving, it was really bad. <laughs> all right, y'all stick around. This should be a good trip. We got uh, some cool things planned. As far as footage goes, I just got a couple of tricks up his sleeve there. As far as some new camera things we're going to do. And then, of course, I got the drone. We're going to try to get that out. But uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Come along for the ride. How'd you start to record it? Oh, it's already recording. What's up? What's going on, Mr. Edwards? Where are we going? Finally in Colorado. We're in Colorado. And the scenery changed drastically from Kansas, didn't it? Yeah. No, not yet. Yeah, not I'm yet. sorry if anybody watching this video lives in Kansas, but man, that's depressing. Well, it is on the freeway. I'm sure that there's nice places otherwise. But we're looking forward to getting past Denver and up into the mountains. Yeah. Through the tunnels. It'll be a fun trip over the mountains for sure. Yeah, we got up. We took a four hour rest somewhere in Kansas last night. Got up at five. Eight drove for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yes. Yeah, 8.30 now. I've been driving for the last three hours. And he wants me to go ahead and drive the whole rest of the way too. We got like seven hours. Six and a half hours. I, mean, I should have just come by myself. I don't even, I don't even know why he's, he's even volunteered to drive. Because he's driving for like an hour the whole trip. Yeah. If you believe all that, you'll believe anything. So, 
there's many a reason he bought me is one if it breaks down somebody's got to fix his machine for him guess <laughs> he doesn't know how to and uh, somebody's got to go back and make him get him a drink out of the fridge and stuff because charity not been here is like almost helpless so <clears throat> and tidy the bus up for him keep it clean you know so yeah anyway yeah, you've done all of that. we're having uh, a nice drive out it's going to be a wonderful day people mountain the high spot and through the tunnel and I believe that we uh, drop down after that we're hauling yeah we're doing all of uh, 35 35 baby. miles an hour this bus is pulling some weight up here there's still a good amount of snow up on the top of the mountain here Eisenhower Tunnel. Oh, I guess the uh, they're cleaning the road for us. De icing. Oh yeah, there's ice on the floor here. Wow. Inside of this tunnel is all ice, look. Nice and easy. What's up, guys? We are in Moab. Day number one. We uh, got up pretty early this morning. Got some good sleep. That was a long two day drive when you have to do 95% of the driving. So I was tired, I, I, I slept real good. Um, 95% of the driving, H, come on man. H has to be like feeling like a million dollars because he slept for two days. Slept for two days. I didn't do anything but sleep for two days. Yeah. yeah? Um, we are at Behind the Rocks. Today we're gonna do Behind the Rocks. And then we're gonna go down Pritchard Canyon and if we have time, which we probably will, because we'll probably be able to cover a good bit of ground. So we don't have Chris slowing us down. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Uh, then we're probably gonna do Moab Rim or something like that. Um, but yeah, should be a good day. Uh, this is John. Uh, John is joining us uh, for this trip. He is in a Can-Am. We're not gonna hold that against him. No. Uh, but it's actually, if you've seen on Facebook, uh, the tube chassis that H is building, the Can-Am tube chassis. That's John's buggy. Uh, so it should be, should be a nice machine, but. It'll be online eventually. Yeah, eventually. Then I'm, I'm next in line after that. So well, you need I mean, to hurry up. Ryan keeps slowing me down with like fixing his so I mean. Uh, Whatever. I, I, mean, I just have to keep getting away from John's stuff. Well, if you'd built a good machine, you wouldn't have to fix it. Hey. I mean, that's a pretty damn good machine. I mean, if you didn't abuse it all the time, I mean, it would have lasted longer. I mean, Charity doesn't keep bringing me a machine back broken. Yeah, that's you because know? I take care of her I mean, machine. Chris doesn't bring his back machine broken all the time, but then again, he doesn't ride it anymore. I mean... Well, he is, actually, to give him credit, he is at Windrock today. He is at Windrock today? So, yeah. half half the crew's at Windrock and half the crew's in Utah, so... I know where I'd rather be, buddy. Yeah, we got six days of this. It's a beautiful day out. What do you think to the new rack? I like it, some people don't, but I mean, I like it that it's tidied up and a lot more bright and jazzy. Oh yeah, I forgot, H got a new wrap on his machine. Yeah, it looks good in the sun. I like it. Oop. Yeah, we got this trip, and then we got Windrock, and then we got Black Mountain. By Black Mountain, it'll look like crap, because uh, yeah. H will roll it several times. Of course. All right, we're going to get on the trail. Hope y'all enjoy this series. Should be fun. See you out there.
right there. Going back up and doing it again. Alrighty, now I've got to bloody come down. Jesus Christ, if John's going down, I've got to come down, otherwise it'll be meow. <laughs> 
Meow. Really wasn't bad. Good Life job. Going down and just trying to go up. Yeah. Well, gravity always helps on the way down. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> gravity always helps on the way down. I got my mountain bike helmet in there. All right. yeah. I just didn't see it there, buddy. I didn't realize you put it there. It might pull straight enough for you to use it. Sorry, buddy. Man, I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to ride without your helmet. Oh, you need the camera. That you want the camera, but mm. sorry, bud. That was a joint effort. That you look all jacked up. <laughs> that was nobody's fault. That was a joint effort. Just know this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
think I did it. Uh, that one over here. Yeah. It's the steep way down. Mm, careful about going down that slow, slipping and breaking an axle. 